What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Miami Boat Show. I'm Dan Harding with Power Motor Yacht and Active Interest Media. Joined this morning by my friend and colleague, Editor-in-Chief of Angles Journal, Charlie Levine. Right now one of the hottest debuts of the show, unquestionably the Valhalla 55, the new flagship of the new line. A lot of horsepower going on there in the back. Meet up with Charlie before the show starts, give you guys a closer look. What do you Charlie, think, what's Dan? going on, man? Oh my gosh. I mean, we use that term super console now, and this is pretty much that personified. This is an amazing vessel. I'm just sort of enamored here, still kind of soaking it in. It's, it's a lot to take in. What's crazy is that this isn't the highest power. No, boat. You, can, you can drop another 600 on the back of this. And Why not? It looks, it looks kind of lonely back here. One, <laughs> one more would do the trick. It was cool when we first got here, they had the motors up. Yeah. It's nice that you can get these fully out of the water right. too. And because it's got that lower unit steering system on these new V12s, yeah. this is how they stay. So it, right, it's, right. Just, it's a beautiful package. I feel like I'm just starting to get used to that fact that they don't. Right. I still look back all the time to yeah. kind of see where we're going. But I mean, look at the size of this cockpit. It's and the amount of impressive. systems that are in here. I mean, we'll talk about it. It's just, it's astounding. Yeah. I mean, where should we start? There's so much to talk about. I don't know. I guess Sea Keeper and, and all, the, all the amenities that you're seeing sure. in a lot of the Vikings. They've got it in here. Systems. Under here is the Sea Keeper. Um, this hatch they pulled up and showed us is the Electro Sea System. Mm -hmm. And here you have access to the uh, Hooker electric uh, sea chest pumps which are the best you can get now. And they're flowing into this, you know, yeah, double exactly. live well setup. Yeah, you think, can get a lot of bait in these things. I think it's six, 65 gallons each. I mean, that's... Yeah, a lot of pieces of bait. Yeah. And there's another bait tank on the bow too. So if you, you know, want to be pitching baits up there. Right. Absolutely. Right. <laughs> um, these scuppers, I mean, it's got these aft seats too. These are cool. These just fold right down. Right. So, and all the stitching, I mean, it's just gorgeous. Yeah. Fully uh, wired for electric reels, obviously, for deep dropping or running dredges. I just, <laughs> there's rod holders like every six inches. I mean, it's just yes, amazing. Actually, that would be an interesting contest. What, is there more cup holders or rod holders? Oh, like, yeah. There's a lot, there's plenty of both. This is an American built boat. Do you like an over under? <laughs> yeah. I oh, God, I don't even know where to start. The, uh, the Palm Beach Tower, I mean, I think, I think it's worth a shout out. Those guys do some unbelievable work. It's just... Uh, yeah, it's handsome. I'm not going to climb up there in my socks right now, but... No, it's... I mean, I love, you know, they paint them black up there to kind of keep the glare down. And yeah. they continue, it's got this beautiful gray hull, which they use up on the console up there too. Right. Um, aesthetically, it's just gorgeous. Yeah. And obviously, I mean, look at this fish finder here. Giant I... Garmin screen. So the crew, you're back here rigging baits, you know, communicating with the captain, seeing everything they're seeing. Uh, it's that's a handy tool. Yeah, I guess that's I guess that's an option. But once once you see it, and you know, price is no factor. I think that's an option everyone's going to go for. It's just yeah, why not, right? Yeah. And I mean, you could even pull up the game on that. You know, they had they had the game going <laughs> the other day. It was. And then if you got the game on, you might as well cook up some burgers for the crew got a nice electric grill here I mean speakers everywhere yeah. storage the amount of storage on here is it's incredible there's no inch that went unused right. everything has a place I mean honestly this video would be an hour I think if we showed all the the storage between you know all along the side here under the gunnels you know, we got the, the two dive doors and then Which are uh, great. Really just throughout throughout the boat it's uh, storage everywhere behind the seats yeah there's a nice tackle center, obviously. This, this is kind of worth showing this one, I think. Move this, this armrest moves over. Yeah. So here you have a little bit of a tackle area. And I like they put this piece of, yeah. you know, glass here. You could yep. rig baits or whatever. And it's got these magnetic mm. hatch holders. So it's just sort of real right easy. Place. And uh, that's pretty neat, but you want to check out the helm? I think so. I think that's... So we're talking about this a little bit. I guess the second row of seats, you've got not, seating for nine. This is definitely the... 
I think this, this is the option that the serious fisherman is going to go for, but I guess there's also a U-shaped seating yeah. where, where the second row is. R that's right. I was looking at the specs, and the standard seating has sort of a U-shaped configuration, more like a dinette. Yeah. So you could have that. Um, all the front row seats are on electric uh, adjustable rams here. Again, this that's same nice stitching, stuff. the teak armrests, and it's raised up. So, I mean, the right. visibility and this awesome windshield, this curved windshield, yeah, I mean, it passes the Charlie Levine short man yeah. test. I can clearly see the bow, clearly see the motors behind me. Yeah. Uh, it's awesome sight lines. It, well, it's a nice touch. I didn't realize it's not all that common that the second row is significantly lower than the first. So this, so the captain always has a great view back no matter how tall the guest is behind them. For sure, yeah, this is raised up. And this even, if, if you want, this drops down and you can stand on that and even right. get a little higher. Um, but, I mean, it's just a very clean dash. Three giant screens. Yeah. Uh, everything's right within the captain's reach, you know. And here you have your fuel management. Mm -hmm. So we didn't talk about the fuel. This boat carries a lot of fuel. It's 1,200 gallons of fuel on yeah. board. Uh, this thing is meant to run and fish all day. So the captain can manage the fuel tanks in here with these switches. Right. And it's got obviously the latest mercury control systems, the joystick with Skyhook. Um, so between Skyhook and I'm, I'm certain it must have a bow thruster. So yeah, yeah, it does. The uh, I think the control isn't is over over to the right there, but it's uh, just super clean. I mean that's that's yeah. kind of a kind of theme here and I think I think that's a new Edson wheel I believe I think that's a new product so, yeah, those guys are offering it's like a carbon fiber setup and yeah. this nice little release marine yep. teak help pods it's small yeah you know I, I guess uh, yeah but I mean it's smooth that the new steering system with these 600s it's it's truly like butter it's just amazing AC blowing everywhere um, really comfortable spot and just the visibility to me is what really sells it Right. But I haven't run it yet. I think that's what's going to really, really sell it. Everyone's telling me how fast it is and that, you know, Michael Peters Hull apparently just on rails, you know, hard over turns and right. performs ex exceptionally well. I guess we were told about, about 60 miles an hour top end with the four outboards and up, up to words of 70 with five. Yeah. That, I mean, and this is almost a 50,000 pound boat. Yeah. So that is yeah. remarkable. Truly remarkable. And I mean, it's rigged up for fishing, obviously, but it's got yacht finishes throughout. Uh, actually, it's pro probably a good uh, transition to the to the cabin here, speaking of yacht finishes. Yeah. So I like the 46. This one's really got way more room downstairs. Mm -hmm. Got a nice dinette area. God, I wish those were real. Really nice master. I like that split head layout. I think it really makes sense because if someone's just, you know, got to use the toilet, it's right. on one side. Whereas, you know, instead of like taking a shower and getting the whole head all dirty. Good point. Especially with it being the day, serving as the day head too. Yeah, there's quite a bit of room in here. I mean, and you're a tall guy and there's a good foot of headroom above you. It's got to be set. It's at least seven feet. And that machine space back there that you're headed towards is really cool. Yeah. That's how you know you're on you're on a Viking here. Yeah, everything's just so well labeled and easy to access. Even inside here, under these hatches, is more access to fuel tanks and mm -hmm. some other pumps. I mean. The whole Viking family fishes hard. They're always on tournaments on their demo team, and, and it shows. And, you know, Viking owners as well, they listen to their owners, and they, they do a wonderful job providing access and ease of maintenance throughout the boat. Right. <coughs> no, it's a, it's a good point. I think this, this boat has already been in two tournaments, even though it just splashed. I wouldn't doubt it. I like this entry, too. Instead of the side entry, you know, when you enter on the side, sometimes it can be a little awkward. This right. is really easy. Good, how are you? 
So moving up here again, <laughs> talk about space. It's just massive. Yeah. That was huge cool. anchor locker. I think was this a drink box? Oh no, it's fender just, storage. Yeah, storage. Another That's live well under there. Right. This must be for a drinks so under here. Ah, I don't know. I won't go too hatch heavy. <laughs> I start opening hatches, it never ends. That's fair point. I mean, but there's hatches all down the sides of the boat for things like mops and rods and, you know, more lines. Everything's got a place. Yeah, that's a good point. Some of these, uh, some of the side cabinets there have your lockable, you know, rod storage, which is awesome. Yeah, that big giant hatch right there yeah. by the house. Well, Charlie, I think, I think you, I think you hit it on the head earlier when you said this, this boat needs to be needs to be run, needs to be fished for a proper test. Yeah, that's what everyone's telling me. They're like, wait until you get behind the wheel. It just it handles like a Ferrari. I mean, all their other boats are similar yeah. in the performance, so I I, I believe it, and right. uh, I'm excited to find out. We need to get this thing out on the water. All right, for sure. Well, thanks, Charlie. We'll uh, stay tuned for more on the Valhalla 55, PMY and Angler's Journal.